Всем привет! Вы на канале BioBlog. Сегодня мы поговорим вместе с HG про его уникальный проект Sarara Data, в котором вы можете себе поспособствовать правильной покупке игроков или правильному подбору своего состава на ближайший Game Week. Так что ссылочку я оставлю на проект внизу. Ну а если вы даже еще не зарегистрированы с Орек, то, конечно же, ссылочка будет внизу в описании. Итак, поехали! Итак, HG у нас уже на связи. Привет! Расскажи, пожалуйста, нам немного о себе, как тебя зовут, из какой ты страны и чем занимаешься. So, my name is Maxime. Um, I work for a French company called uh, Blockchain Partner, so I'm the CTO of the company, and uh, I live in Paris. Um, that's pretty it. I'm a football fan and a, a blockchain enthusiast, so it was really easy for me to get into Soria. Uh, расскажи, пожалуйста, как ты попал в Soria? So, um, Nicola is working in the same... Uh, like in the same city, he's working in Paris and uh, we know him from a previous, um, his previous company. And when he told us he was launching Soria, he asked me to beta test it. So, um, um, because I was a football fan, it was easy for me to uh, understand the game and so, um, and try to test it um, when there were only Belgian football cards and Western cards. Ну смотри, получается, многие бета-тестеры на самом деле знакомы с Николасом. И ты один из истоков Сорер. Uh, Расскажи, пожалуйста, такой вопрос. Uh, сейчас добавляются азиатские лиги. С одной стороны, это круто, но, допустим, uh, когда корейская лига была добавлена, uh, корейских игроков пришло слишком мало к нам. Сейчас добавили японскую лигу. Как ты думаешь, будет много народу из Японии или нам не стоит ждать больших результатов? Um, I think the addition of a new league is good. Um, it brings more people to the platform and we need more users right now. Uh, I think there are like um, 1.5k uh, uh, managers that have cards, so it's a good number, but we need more, more, more people and from around the world. I think the community right now is mainly based in Europe and maybe some of them in the US. Uh, not a lot of managers uh, come from uh, Asia, so uh, bringing Japanese people uh, after bringing um, Korean people is a good thing. But uh, I think we are in a place that uh, where the market is kind of sleeping right now. So um, maybe it was not the right timing to launch a new league because like the players will probably be undervalued. Uh, so I think there are opportunities right now. Uh, also, it's, it's kind of difficult for the community that is uh, mainly based in Europe to um, know which player is good, which player scores well. Um, so obviously, so our data is helping for that, but um, it's kind of uh, confusing for existing users and European users to understand which team is good, which player is good. So um, we're kind into the unknown right now, but uh, Uh, a new league is obviously very good. Я понял. А, спасибо. И вот такой самый главный вопрос. А, ты являешься основателем Sarer Data. А, расскажи, пожалуйста, как тебе пришла в голову такая потрясающая мысль а, создать вспомогательный проект для Sarer, а, где все менеджеры могут спокойно посмотреть, собрать себе состав, узнать среднюю стоимость игроков и много еще полезных всяких взаимодействий сделать благодаря твоему проекту. Расскажи подробнее, как тебе пришла в голову такая идея? I mean, I don't know Belgian football, so when I um, got into Soya, it was very difficult for me to um, understand which player was good or bad and which player to uh, buy, actually. And uh, it was also very difficult to know um, the right price for a card, so I decided to Since I know blockchain quite well, I decided to dig into um, um, into the blockchain, try to um, aggregate market prices so I can have the correct price for a card, for example, and also uh, learn about the player's performance, uh, the, the, their history, uh, know their, their SO5 score. Um, so I did that for myself first, so as a side project, and then I started So an opportunity going forward because a lot of people miss stuff from Soya. I mean, uh, they are doing a great job. Um, 
uh, selling cards, um, uh, lining up teams for the fantasy, but some some features are not there and some people want them. So I decided to do like a, um, a big scale thing and um, to, to let uh, Soar Data open to everyone. Отлично, хороший проект у тебя на самом деле получился, но мне кажется, в одиночку его тяжело сделать. Расскажи, пожалуйста, как много людей работают над таким интересным проектом, который ты создал? I'm the only one uh, working on Solar Data right now. Um, I had help from a, a fellow manager that is uh, Matt Hay on some design stuff. Uh, he helped me on that, but uh, I'm doing the Twitter, I'm doing the, the website, I'm doing everything by myself right now. Uh, It's okay right, right now. I can do it by myself, but uh, at some point in time, I, I will I will need some help. But I don't know where when it will happen. Я понял. Расскажи, пожалуйста, еще вот такой вот момент. Оптоспорт стоит очень дорого на самом деле. Насколько мне известно, там четырехзначные цифры в долларах, чтобы интегрировать оттуда статистику на месяц. Расскажи, пожалуйста, ты интегрировал статистику вместе с Орер или же все-таки за свой счет сам включил ее для себя? So obviously Opta is, uh, <laughs> is definitely too expensive for me. So um, I use um, Sorer API so that is public that anyone can use uh, to get live scoring. So stats is coming directly from Sorer. They also sent me um, a file with the S to five score history, uh, like the, the one they released for replay sessions. So, um, so I has definitely been supportive of the project, so um, they helped me a lot. But um, I mean, anyone could um, use the API and do live scoring or stuff on live scoring if they want, uh, based on what's available right now. And just, just to add something, uh, I mean, if, if If uh, so, our data becomes like uh, very popular or something, and and so has a a large user base, and <laughs> I actually make money from the website, um, uh, we could I, I could uh, integrate of that directly, so I I don't depend on on so, but it's really not on the roadmap right now. Но смотри, сейчас у тебя получается проект полностью бюджетный, да, не коммерческий. То есть все функции, которые сейчас доступны на сайте, они бесплатны. А планируешь ли ты сделать какие-то дополнительные услуги на своем сайте? То есть, может, какие-то дополнительные разделы, которым многим менеджерам принесут прибыль, но они будут коммерческими, то есть стоить какую-то определенную сумму. Или же полностью проект будет бесплатен? Right now everything is free and everything will stay free for the foreseeable future. That means that Uh, I've opened donation accounts on Solar Data and on Ethereum, so people can donate to support for IT costs, basically. Um, so since I've got like enough donations right now, um, the, the website will stay free. But um, as I said, if if the um, right now I, I'm basically focusing on uh, making Solar uh, the Solar ecosystem grow, so. That there are more users, that uh, new users find their way into Sora uh, uh, easily, um, and once there is like uh, I don't know many users on Sora, um, we'll probably um, activate like uh, paid memberships. But um, some of the data, I don't know which data actually, but some maybe most of the data will stay free. Um, even if um, there is a paid uh, membership uh, on the website. Подскажи такой вопрос, что в ближайшее время будет добавлено, то есть какие будут обновления на Sarara Data? Yeah, so basically the the main thing right now is um, new scoring, so integrating the new scoring into the website and kind of comparing uh, which player benefited of the change or not. And um, two on the, of the main things I'm uh, looking at is um, offer design. Uh, basically, you want to buy a player uh, from someone um, trying to design the best offer possible. Um, and also um, lineup building. Um, kind of what you see in the FIFA ecosystem, like um, websites, 
uh, allowing you to build your uh, ultimate team. Uh, I want to do quite something like that. Um, like a sandbox when you can pick any player or any card of the website and build a lineup. No. Um, the, the average price of a, uh, every player in the lineup so you can complete your gallery accordingly to the plans that you have on um, on the fantasy uh, game so basically the two main features it, it requires quite some work and uh, as always if uh, something comes up on so I will uh, definitely add uh, everything that comes up so I hope that <laughs> not too many things happen because I, I'm I'm working alone but uh, Uh, yeah, um, line building and offer design. Спасибо за откровенные ответы. А расскажи, пожалуйста, что бы ты хотел бы пожелать нашим зрителям? So I I wish everyone SO5 victories, of course. Um, and also I um, the main thing I know about Soya is that if you don't enjoy the game, you won't enjoy the experience, the marketplace, etc. So I, I I think you really have to enjoy. Uh, the fantasy system and the games and watch the games, watch your player grow or your players grow, watch your perfor uh, players perform. Um, I know that I'm not watching games the same manner as I was watching them before Soya. So, I mean, if you if you play on Soya, I wish you that you enjoy uh, the experience and uh, of course, Uh, also getting great opportunities on, uh, on the market and uh, maybe Sora that I will help you to do that. Uh, давай разыграем твою карту, потому что это старая добрая традиция uh, разыгрывать карту, устраивать челлендж. So, um, as you see, I have a, a very old FC on jersey, so I will be giving away um, the Fabio, uh, um, Fabio card, which is a, a FC on player. Um, and I will be giving it away to the best core in um, Challenger Europe Division 4. All right. So may the best manager win. Спасибо, KG, за увлекательные и занимательные ответы. Я надеюсь, вам также понравилось, как и мне. Я надеюсь, вы со мной разделяете эту точку зрения. Ну и, конечно же, в этом видео была карта, которую вы так долго ждали. Давайте сейчас мы ее разыграем, но если вы еще карту не нашли до этого, то советую видео перелистнуть назад, и тогда вы точно ее увидите. Итак, переходим мы в рандом чисел. У нас 13 участников. Генерируем. Под номером 13 у нас Вика Ми. Я жду от тебя комментарии с твоим ником, чтобы я отправил тебе карту. Ну и, конечно же, челлендж, который запустил Хейджи, hey также будет внизу в описании, поэтому соблюдайте все условия под закрепленным постом. Пишем и выигрываем карту. Пока!